Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In 2020, a minor accident occurred on the highway, causing one of the vehicle's owners to flag down a passing Orlando police officer. There is um, one person that was flagging me down for this accident who's saying she's law enforcement and she doesn't, she appears intoxicated. And there was some sort of 22. And the officer, I don't know if she, uh, she could be armed. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. anything on you, guns or anything? No, not at all. Sarah Mooney seems angry as she approaches the officer. She appears to hand over her police badge when asked for her ID, possibly hoping to get special treatment. However, the officer quickly corrects her and asks for her actual ID. Where's your actual ID? Because that one you don't need anymore. You can get rid of that. I need the other ID. Sorry. You're good. Okay. That one. Thank you. I'm going to take that back. Okay, go ahead and have a seat for me really fast. Just take a seat. Are you... You're, if you guys are good to go, if you want to, whatever you want to do. He's a f***ing jerk. Hey, I'm not... I'm talking to them. If right. you're law enforcement, you know better than to be I talking to us like this. Then you know better than to be talking to us like this. The officer tells Sarah to take a seat, but Sarah continues to vent her frustrations, already showing signs of intoxication. This crash I'm at right now, um, she's a Popka PD, but she is intoxicated. Sarah had only been an officer for two years when this incident occurred, just enough time to feel entitled enough to seemingly abuse her status when dealing with officers at another agency. The responding officer now approaches is the other involved driver, asking for his side of the story. I drive for a little bit, and I feel a okay. kind of a on the, on the side. She jumps out immediately and is like, bro, I'm a cop. I'm a, like, I'm a cop. And I'm like, fantastic, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, okay. And I was like, well, you hit me. So I just jumped out and talked to this person behind me. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, like, did you see that? In, do you mind pulling over and witnessing? She's like, uh, yes, by the way, she was swerving a lot. The driver states that he was not at fault for the car accident and points to a witness who backs up his side of the story. I know you're just a witness. Yeah, no problem. Eventually, the driver reaches for his phone and reveals a recording of the altercation with Sarah Mooney. Basically, was faking a phone conversation while I'm videotaping so, her. Uh, I, need, I need to understand... I'm faking a phone conversation right now while this lady beats on my window. I just didn't know what to do. Hey, excuse me? I'm a cop. Please. Don't come at me. Please right get now. out of my car right Please now. Don't come at me right now. I'm a right, cop. I get excuse me. right now. Well, I need you to go back over there. You need to get back over there. There's no reason you're inching up like that. I'm a cop. Sorry. You're good. Hey, excuse I'd, me? Honestly, like, come at me. Idiots didn't lock the door, but whatever. Right no, you're, I mean, no one expects someone to do it. Come right now. I need you to hit my car right now. Don't come at me, ma'am. Nothing. I would ask you. Nothing. I would ask I'm you. I'm a cop. Is that, that's a driver's side? That's right here. Yeah, right here. I would ask you to this way. For my vehicle. I'm gonna ask you to let's be I just didn't know if she had a freaking gun, and I was yeah, like, no, you're good. freaking out a lot. Hit my car, ma'am. Sir, please, sir, please back away from my vehicle. Sir. I do not want this to escalate. It's escalating. My car's right there. I'm a cop. Tim at me. Hit my car. I need you to. No, no. I need. I need no. you to no. please no. make no. way. Did she, uh, right there, did she touch you? Yeah, I mean, she's pushing, pushing me, and, and that's why I just, I was like... Okay, so she did, like touch, of, she did touch you and push you? Yes. Okay. And I'm just like, out, at this point, I'm like... Please move away from Do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't have a weapon on you. Come on. Get a cop on me right now. We're not going at it. Please, please. As I was driving away, so let's get a state trooper as 
Oh, okay, yeah, it's probably going to be more than that. Listen. She was, ta- she was touching him and pushing him, too. The off-duty officer shows obvious signs of intoxication and is undeniably the aggressor. Most notably, she opens the victim's car door without permission and threatens the driver while also making it clear that she is a sworn officer. The responding officer now asks the man if Sarah put hands on him, and after acknowledging that Sarah had indeed assaulted him, she confirms it by reviewing the evidence and returns to Sarah Mooney. Why are you doing this? Doing what? I don't want you to get hit by a car. That's the, honestly the truth or reason. I always walk people across the street. That's, uh, so am I. So am I. Go ahead. Get your, get your stuff out of the car, please. A supervising officer arrives at the scene, and after reviewing the cell phone footage himself, he proceeds to question Sarah. Hello, I'm Corporal Torres. Hey. How are you? Nice to meet you, Corporal. What's up? Hey. You want to talk to me? No, no. I said that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what happened with the crash? So, I was coming in here, and he hit me as I was coming in. Where's your damage? Uh, I don't think there's even any damage to it. Okay. Which is why I don't... Right here? I'm not sure why he called you. Okay, watch out. Can you get on the side on the yes. road? I think he hit me okay. right here. Okay, we can go back to the sidewalk. Yeah. See it. You're saying, so... Where were you driving from? Like, we're not driving from. Like, where were you on? From, from that way. On 408 or off the 408? Off 408. Off 408? Yep. Okay. All right. But there was... He's just being an... Oh, okay. I gotcha. Sarah points to the damage on the front left of her vehicle, but it only suggests that she hit the other vehicle. This is also confirmed by eyewitness accounts. I just want to let you know, though, you are at fault for this crash, okay? And you will be getting a ticket for it, for careless driving, okay? Even though he hit me, it's, it's dependent upon what everybody says, and what everyone says is that you swerved into him. So you're at fault, and I'll be giving you, uh, you'll get a ticket. I'll be for you to stand by. With the traffic violation issued, the officers now consider further charges. So as far as him not being nice, how do I go about challenging him? For being nice? No, like we literally we get to- met each other okay. right here. He was not the nicest person. Okay. And I feel like he's doing this because of where we're at right now. Okay. Well, it's not, I mean, he doesn't have to be nice to you. You know what I'm saying? No, I know that. Yeah, so uh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm confused as to what you want me to do for him not being nice. I don't need you to do anything for him not being nice. Okay. But you're giving me a ticket for what? For careless driving because you, you caused the crash. How did I cause a crash? You, your vehicle that you were driving hit another vehicle. So you're saying that I hit his vehicle? That's what our independent witness is there. I'm not, I wasn't there. Where's the wasn't independent there. witness? They already left. We just left them. We got a sworn statement from them, and then we have them on body camera saying that what they observed. You have a sworn statement right now yes, saying ma'am. that someone else said that I swerved into his white car. Yep. Okay. Okay. Right. So Sarah, so here's the deal, okay? So the crash investigation is over. Okay, so while we've been interacting with you, myself, other officers, the witnesses, they've been able to smell the odor of alcohol on you, just your, your speech, your bloodshot really? eyes, your mannerisms, okay? So we have reason to believe that you might be under the influence of drugs and or alcohol. Okay. okay. So at this point in time, I am conducting a criminal DUI investigation and a sure. battery investigation as well. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to read you your rights. I understand you know how this works, okay? I need you to, when I ask you these questions, I just need a verbal yes or no to make sure you understand what I'm explaining to you, okay? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Sure. Uh, yes or no, please? Yes. Thank you. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before, during, before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. If you got a for a lawyer and want one, one will be provided for you before questioning without charge. Do you understand? Yes. Has anyone threatened you or promised you they'll get you to talk to me? No. Sarah, would you mind keeping your hands out of your pockets, please? Make sure you east side too. No. Okay, Sarah. So, walk me through what happened with the crash. I understand you disagree that you didn't cause the crash. So, what 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 happened? I came off the four away. Okay. And he hit me on the driver's side okay. of my car. 
Okay. Were you you were both getting off the off ramp? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, or what I I mean we were just driving this way. Okay. And you, why do you think he hit you and you didn't hit him? Because I was driving to my house. Okay. Where do you live? To five three three two like on Mel Road. Okay, so it's nearby here. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Um, okay. Where are you coming from right now? Uh, from not far from here. Not far from here? Okay. Was anyone else in the car with you? No. No? Okay. So at the time of the crash you were driving? Yes. Okay. Then what, what's not far from here? Where, where, uh, where, where exactly? Winter Park. Winter Park area? Yep. Okay. Where are Winter Park? Winter Park. Okay. I mean, Winter Park's a pretty decent sized city. I mean, was there a specific place you were at in Winter Park? No. Winter no? Park. You were just driving around the city of Winter Park? Yep. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? Two glasses of wine. Two glasses of wine? Yeah. Okay. Anything else besides that? No. Okay. What kind of wine was it? Cab. A cab? Okay. Yeah. Where did you have those wines at? I asked the question and you're just looking at me, so I'm... I'm just wondering why you're asking me. Like I told you, I explained, I'm conducting a criminal DUI investigation right now. Sure. Okay, so that's why I'm asking these questions. In Winter Park. You don't want to tell me the name of the restaurant or bar you were at? It doesn't matter. I mean, it matters. Does it not? Were you not coming from there? Are you conducting a criminal investigation towards me? Sarah fails to realize that she is under investigation for DUI, despite having been read her rights just moments before. Yes. Right now? Yes. Okay. So am I having any point of... I mean, I'm... Is there a question in there? So, while you were talking to him well, after the crash happened, all right, you're at his at his window. What was yes. going on there? Why were you yelling at him back and forth? Because he yelled at my he hit my car. Okay. As he hit me. Okay. Yep. Okay. And any, so when he got out of the car, what did you do? I did nothing. Okay. Did at any point you put your hands on him and put him try to push him back in the car or, re nope. or redirect him back towards the car? Nope. No? No. Nope. Okay, because that's what he's saying. He, he's saying like, he tried getting out of the car. Actually, I'm, I watched the video because he had a video on his cell phone that Sorry. he got out. I'll take care of Okay. That he got out of the car, and as he's getting out of the car, you redirect, try to redirect him back inside the car. I never touched him. No? No. Nope. Okay. Is there a reason why you think reason why he would say differently? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Why did you tell him so many times that you were a cop? Did you think that was going to make the circumstances any different with him or anything of that nature? I didn't do anything to him. Okay. At all. I'm just wondering because Liz, listen. I didn't do anything to him. Generally, most cops no. that I know, we don't shout that we're cops to people. No. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was, you were just doing it in a very aggressive manner. It was kind of intimidating. You see what I'm saying? I didn't intimidate him at all. Okay. He hit my car. Okay. And that's where we're at right now. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Sure. On a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being completely sober and 10 being completely drunk, what do you think you're at? Uh, I've not drank. What do you mean? Not five minutes ago you told me you had two glasses of cabaret, uh, uh, cab. So obviously you can have to. You, can you drink though and still drive and not be under the legal limit? You can be point you, you, under you can't okay that's not what oh, i asked wait. that's not what i asked you though so, so like one glass well you said two glasses earlier and then the original question i asked you was on a scale of zero to ten zero being completely sober sure. ten being completely drunk what do you think you're at and your response was i haven't drank but that contradicts what you said earlier because you have drank today sure so again on a scale of zero to ten zero sure. being completely sober ten being completely drunk what do you think you're at uh maybe two glasses maybe Okay, so I understand you had two glasses. That's not what I'm asking you. On that scale of zero being completely sober all the way to ten being completely drunk, what do you think you're at? Again, you're asking me what I'm at. One to ten. Zero to ten, correct. Okay. Okay. So I can be at home and have a glass of wine and be out and have 
five glasses of wine. It just depends on who you're asking. Right? So I'm asking what you think your impairment level is, not how many glasses of wine you have drank. I can have a glass of wine right now and get home. Okay. I'll skip that question. It seems like you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. Sure. Okay. I understand what you're asking me okay. right now. Do you think you're safe to drive? Absolutely. Okay. The officer now asks if she is willing to participate in a field sobriety test. Would you be willing to do some field sobriety exercises? No. No? Okay, you understand that if you don't do these field sobriety exercises, I'm going to have to make a decision of your impairment based on my interactions with you and the, the videos the witness showed me and the witness statements that were said. So okay? what are your and, witnesses? Okay. So let me finish, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. On top of that, if you do, if you do refuse, that could be used against your court if you were to be arrested for DUI. So I'm just asking, what are your witnesses, him, mm -hmm. right now? I have, well, I have two witnesses, and then I have the observations of two other officers that were on scene, including myself. Okay. So I'm asking him, would you want to do some field sobriety exercises? No. No? Okay, so you, and you do understand the implications. I'm going to have to make a decision based on what we've seen, heard, talked about. Oh my God. And then it could be used against you in court. Do you understand that? You are going to come at me right now for what he says, mm -hmm. for what he hit me okay. on my car. Okay. I'm not coming at you. Like I said I'm conducting an investigation. Okay. Crash investigation was done. You were determined to be at fault. You have a very strong odor of alcohol in your breath. Your mannerisms have been what typical what an impaired driver would be. Okay. You have bloodshot eyes. All right. You, you, you have not been acting how I would say a police officer should be acting, especially off duty. That's besides the fact. Drivers in Florida have the right to refuse field sobriety tests, but Sarah's refusal forces the officers to arrest her. So I'm going to ask you again. Are you willing to do field sobriety exercises? One time, you're being placed under arrest for DUI and battery. battery. Sitting in the squad car, Sarah becomes increasingly frustrated as the reality of her situation sinks in. Okay, sir, we're trying I to didn't do anything to okay. be well, safe. You're, you're under arrest. The way you're acting is for what? Okay. For what? For DUI and uh, battery. For what? Okay. Be battery on what? On the person you hit. Who? Okay. I didn't hit anyone. I didn't hit anyone. You guys are gonna catch it. Hit someone? Battery? For what? Let me f come at you. Come or battery for what? You're gonna take me down to, to Orange County for what? Battery on what? No, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do it all on the same page. Somewhere. Battery? Yeah. Why? Because you have a fight. Because you have a f FTO. Yeah, there's a camera right there. Right there. That that's fine. Okay, I'm just letting you know. You're gonna. You're going to bug me for battery? I didn't touch anyone okay. at all. And I never hit anyone's car at all. F come at me. Bro. Battery. F you. Hey, FTO number one, who did I batter right now? As you take me down to the jail. Who did I batter? Hmm? No one. Wait till my... Chief hears about this. Sarah continues to incriminate herself while swearing profusely at the officers. Some might even argue that she threatened them with violence on more than one occasion during this tirade. She also refused to take a breath test, which resulted in a suspension of her driving privilege for a period of one year. The original charges were DUI with property damage, burglary of occupied conveyance, battery, and false imprisonment. Ultimately, the Apopka Police Department decided to place Sarah Mooney on administrative leave until her criminal charges were concluded. Today, nearly eight months later, although no official announcement was made, she is no longer employed with the Apopka Police Department. However, there is no telling whether she was terminated because of this incident. In court, she initially pleaded not guilty to DUI with property damage. The other charges seemed to no longer appear on the record. She was found guilty and sentenced to two days of jail with credit for time served, 180 days of probation, 50 hours of community service, and loss of her license for six months. She also had to complete a DUI counterattack school and show proof of completion within 30 days, attend and complete the victim awareness program within 60 days, 
Price and was ordered to impound or immobilize her vehicle for 10 days. But the last document on record shows she has not complied with the impound. To top everything off, the department's Facebook page habitually ridicules arrestees in their jurisdiction. However, this was the only post they published on the day this story broke. So, what do you think? Is the solo DUI charge enough? Or should she have been prosecuted for the threats while presenting herself as an officer? Leave your answer in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content. And check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.